Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Star Dogs to Bob Bob for the partners and welcome to a smaller video today. This is on the latest construction of Icebreaker, the brand new premier skyrocket coaster at SeaWorld Orlando coming to the park in 2020. Uh, so for more videos like this, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell seeing them as a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family and on social media and make sure you get your questions in using the hashtag question before or afterwards and your question in the comments down below. To celebrate 1,500 subscribers and the Q&A video will be released a couple of weeks after we hit that milestone. So do all that and let's get into this video. So we've got a massive construction update today from SeaWorld Orlando as trains have arrived on site. They've been put on the track so testing should be begin very very soon if not already started uh, so we're at, that, we're at that final furlough now for Icebreaker at SeaWorld Orlando obviously Texas Stingray uh, has opened already at SeaWorld San Antonio so that's like the first of the SeaWorld Park's major roller coasters I guess uh, there's been rave reviews from that from what I've heard so um, you know SeaWorld San Antonio have got themselves a good investment obviously there's all the stuff about 2021 and there's rumours of a screaming swing or a premier skyrocket 2 uh, that's been going around from a trusted source uh, it, it didn't mention on the Screenscape article what the source was uh, but apparently according to Screenscape a trusted source says the rumour is a premier ride skyrocket 2 so uh, that's interesting to hear about so uh, as well as that, there was another rumour about a screaming swing coming uh, with like a pier being built. So, uh, very interesting rumours coming from there. Loads of people saying they want a power splash maybe at an San Antonio SeaWorld. Uh, that would be nice, but I think with a power splash already in Texas, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, Aquaman Power Wave at Six Flags over Texas already been there. They'd have to call with something bigger and better for SeaWorld. So. But we're not about San Antonio today. We're about Orlando and the construction of Icebreaker. So I'm going to share some pictures officially from the park. So credit goes to SeaWorld Orlando for these pictures on your screen now. Fan of Adorsi, those are some pictures officially from the construction site showing the train being lifted onto the track. And you can see on your screen now, Fan of Adorsi, that's the trains on the track. Uh, so very nice indeed. So for those of you who need a bit of history on this ride, for those of you who um, um, who need a bit of a reminder of the statistics and everything, uh, this has a length of 1,900 feet, but you do travel uh, 2,750 feet of track. So of course it's one of those where you sort of launch once, launch twice, launch three, launch four. A height of 93 feet, a speed of 52 miles per hour, no inversions, but it has a 93 foot junior scorpion tail and an 80 foot outside top hat, as well as a multi-pass LSM launch uh, section. Uh, so Icebreaker uh, is the park's uh, new coaster for 2020. It is, in fact, the park's sixth coaster. The uh, and Journey to Atlantis, Kraken, Mako, Manta, and Super Grover's Box Car Derby. Uh, so the sixth roller coaster at the park, obviously Orlando 2021, rumours of another coaster maybe, uh, rumours of a B&M wing, obviously King's Dominion's wing coaster seems to have been shelved for something different, so uh, it looks like Seward Orlando doesn't really have any competition in terms of the wing coast department, so I think Seward Orlando could potentially go all out with a B&M wing coaster in 2021. Uh, for the thrill seekers so this should be exciting to follow uh, but in terms of icebreaker i think this is a good family thrill launch coaster i think this is the family thrill launch coaster they've been waiting for um and i think that uh seaworld orlando have been moving quickly with the construction process of icebreaker ever since it was first announced um and of course we covered that announcement in a separate video so um you know, I felt glad that I've got to follow this process of Icebreaker and obviously with the construction process coming to an end now, um, you know, we're, we're, we're pretty much there, aren't we? We're pretty much there. We're pretty much nearly ready to open with this. We just need to test it. Uh, so uh, I think Icebreaker's coming along really, really well. Hopefully testing goes all right uh, with this coaster. If you're down there at the park in the near future, I hope you guys get to see some testing footage uh, as well. So... Uh, make sure you see the right testing and spot out for it testing if you're down at the park over the next few weeks. Uh, and of course, it'll be a treat if you get to see it testing. So, thank you very much for watching this construction update on Icebreaker at Seward Orlando. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a future video. And for now, guys, keep on the coast left, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.